In this lesson, we're going to look at how to write an IELTS essay. Now, there are some types of IELTS essay that you get commonly in the test. For example, agree, disagree, advantages and disadvantages, causes and effects. What we're going to do to show you how to write an IELTS essay is to look at agree, disagree type questions. So although the different question types will vary slightly in the way you answer, answer it, they all follow a similar type of format. So the question we'll look at is this one, and this is what you'll see when you open your Task 2 writing booklet. Uh, this IELTS essay is about information technology and how it's developed. Now remember you have 40 minutes to write the task, and you should write at least 250 words. We've seen the question, in the last 20 years there have been significant developments in the field of information technology, for example the World Wide Web and communication by email. However, these developments in IT are likely to have more negative than positive, more negative effects than positive in the future. To what extent do you agree or disagree? So in this type of question you have to say whether you agree or disagree with that. But you can of course still look at both sides of the argument. So the main things that you need to do in this question then, in terms of structuring your essay, are to have your introduction, your body paragraphs, and a conclusion. And also remember you must write at least 250 words. Now for the introduction you, could, you should keep this short in an IELTS essay. Because remember you only have 40 minutes to write the IELTS essay and you've also got to brainstorm and plan as well before you write. So you should write your, your IELTS essay introduction fairly quickly so you can start writing your body paragraphs. So you should do just two things. State the topic of the essay using some basic facts and say what you're going to write about. So here's an example of an introduction. So you can see, first of all, some facts about the topic have been given. And what the writer has done is paraphrase this from the question. So you can't copy the question, but you can use information from that to write your first sentence. And then we have a thesis which says what the essay is going to be about. So for this one, it's as it's an agree-disagree essay, the person has saying they strongly believe these developments in IT will result in more negative impacts than positive. Of course, if you've got a different essay such as problems and solutions, then you will be saying uh, these are the problems and these are the solutions. So obviously this will vary depending on the essay type. Now we'll look at the body paragraphs. So for an IELTS essay, you would normally have two to three body paragraphs, not more or less than this. Some very good writers who can write a lot of words might, may end up having more than this. So generally for most people, it will be two or three body paragraphs. For your body paragraph, each paragraph should contain one controlling idea. So it'd be about one topic for example, advantages, or another one about disadvantages, depending on the essay, and have sentences to support the, the ideas, in the main idea of the paragraph. So in this essay, the first in the first body paragraph, the writer is talking about the benefits of IT. So they're presenting the argument that differs from their view. So we can see there's, we have a first uh, point here about the, on the positive side, emails make communication simpler and faster. This has helped businesses because you don't have to wait for wait for letters or sending faxes. Second idea, it means it, m lots of information is available to us. For example, accessing news, medical advice through the internet. This body paragraph has a concluding sentence as well. You don't have to do that, that's optional, but this, in this case it does. Now in the second body paragraph being introduced are the opposing arguments, so the ones that the writer believes in. So this is flagged up clearly with the topic sentence, that nevertheless the effects of this new technology have not all been beneficial. One idea is presented here, 
that it's destroying traditional forms of communication such as letter writing this could this could result in a decline in people's ability to socialize and interact another body paragraph has been written to introduce another idea in support of why the writer um, ag agrees and this is in addition the, the large size of the web has meant that it's nearly impossible to regulate control so that can cause damaging effects maybe to children and spreading computer viruses and this problem may get worse for your conclusion in an IELTS essay it only needs to be one or two sentences and you can do the following you can restate what the IELTS essay is about so re and to do this you can rewrite the last sentence of your introduction in different words and you could also give some thoughts about the future so here's an example of the conclusion so you can see firstly it restates what was said in the thesis about the opinion and then thoughts are given about the future so these will these issues will need to be addressed to avoid damaging impacts on the individuals and society an important point don't put new ideas in the conclusion because ideas are for the body paragraphs not the conclusion so now here we have you can see the full IELTS essay so the kind of length you might be aiming for you might you can have it slightly shorter you could be maybe aiming for 265 words this one's 290 so you can see you have the introduction with facts about the topic and then the th topic and then the thesis the first body paragraph in this type of essay is giving the benefits the drawbacks in the second body paragraph more a further drawback in the third body paragraph then the conclusion restating the thesis and future thoughts and of course this may vary for different type essays as i've said for example if you had a problems and solutions type question you might just have two body paragraphs one presenting the problems and one presenting the sol solutions but they still tend to follow this similar format in terms of the introduction, body paragraphs, conclusion. You can see in the top right hand corner there's a link to sample essays. So have a look at those sample essays so you can see the various types of essay and the different structures that you can write.